Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shy, but you can call me Shadowcat as the channel name suggests, and today we're watching more Firefly. Hello. Okay, so this is going to be the third episode of Firefly I'm watching today. The last two episodes I enjoyed a lot, like a lot, a lot. They were a lot more intense, I want to say, than maybe the episodes that came before it. Uh, in the last episode, we had Jane actually doing the thing that he said that he might do at the beginning of the season, which was betray some of the crew for the right amount of money. Unfortunately for me, um, I the entire Janestown episode had me thinking that he had turned a new leaf, when in fact, it turns out he has not. So I'm on the fence about how I feel about that character, honestly. Like, as a character, I think he's a great character, you know? As, like, a person, <sighs> I struggle. I struggle because uh, I don't think that he's, like, evil. I don't think that he doesn't have redeeming qualities, but at the same time, I mean, what he did was extremely selfish and put the entire crew at risk for a payout. So when like the uh, officer was basically saying like, nah, you're not getting whatever money you were promised. I was like, good, good. Honestly, you deserve to get punished for what you just did because it was shit. I didn't want Mal to kill him. I didn't think that Mal was actually going to kill him um, because he's too compelling of a character to kill, honestly. But I was expecting, at the very least, him to, like, drop him off somewhere and be like, Sayonara, we are done with you. You screw, you screwed us over. You screw one of us over. Like, sure, you can say, oh, I didn't screw you over. I screwed, like, the other guy over. No, it's exactly as Mal was saying. Like, you screw one of his crew members over. You screw him over. So I was expecting that to be, like, a final straw moment. Um, but it wasn't. So he's still, I think, on the crew. I'm wondering moving forward, like, what that dynamic is going to be like. I'm really excited to get into this episode and find out. Uh, yeah, great episode. Great, great, great episode. And now let's get into episode 10. If you would like to watch ahead, of course, we are completely finished on Patreon. If that is something that you are interested in. We were done all of the remainder episodes as well as the movie, so come join us on Patreon if that is something that you're interested in. But without further ado, let's get into this week's episode. Previously, talking about breaking into a highly secure Alliance facility. If I can get River in there, I might be able to figure out what they did to her at the Academy. I'll be able to make the nightmares go away. They so, opened up her skull. Well, I want it. it looks like we're actually going to pick up from the last episode. Sometimes with this show, a lot of the episodes are very episodic, so you don't always like revisit exactly what you just did in the last episode, but it looks like we might be this time. If we don't get the goods to Niska on time, he'll make meat pies out of a lot of us. As far as Niska goes, we'll just have to explain to him the job went south. Now's your chance. Mm. Right. Things between us, not so solid. I was saying that I don't think that it is over with these guys. I think that we're going to see them again, and it looks like we might be. Did you ever read the works of Shan Yu? Fancied himself quite the warrior poet. Wrote volumes on war, torture. He said, live with a man 40 years, then tie him up and hold him over the volcano's edge. And on that day, you will finally meet the man. What if you don't live near a volcano? <laughs> Tell me you're not a fan. Just wondering if they were. The people who did this to your sister. Uh, the government did this to her. I'm just wondering. If they put her through this just to see how much she could take to... I don't know. I feel like they had a purpose. The more I see, the more I think their purpose was very specific. Besides, if all they cared about was hurting River, they wouldn't still be after her. But yeah. she's doing better. There's something that she can do for them. Him from protection fund. How you could betray mm, my... 
that is rough. Now we get to the... Ooh. I uh, get to heart of matter and always interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, well, I was afraid that he was gonna like shank him. <laughs> Might be Serenity. Malcolm Reynolds' ship. Oh, this is exciting news. Bring him here to me. No! We get to spend some time finding out about your true self. Tell me. Ah. Oh. Are you familiar with the works of Sean Yu? Ooh, we also... Wasn't there some indication that um, Shepard Book knew this man in some capacity? Or at least he knows of his reputation and the question is why? So now that they're like mirroring what they're saying, maybe that's like further indication that they actually like know each other. Maybe some further insights to who Book is. What Book was doing before getting on the ship. I don't know. I hope we learn more. I said yes Aww. already. Where's the outstanding issue? The counselor is an important political figure and a very private person. I so he visits you here instead of you going his place. Fuck. What is the ship not clean enough? I just want the counselor <laughs> to feel comfortable. And when I say comfortable, I mean totally alone. Shut up! <laughs> There's nobody sets foot on my boat that I don't meet him. Don't worry, I'm not gonna start any sword fights. I'm over that phase. Are you? One of you is gonna fall and die, and I'm not cleaning it up. She took my <laughs> apple. Jane bought a crate of them. And this one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, it's nice to see River having fun. Power in the verse. <laughs> I can get used to being rich. It's Jane being so generous with this cut that confuses and frightens me. It should. So how come you always cut your apples? You know what a Griswold is? It's a grenade. About the size of a battery. Response to pressure. Oof. Our platoon was stuck in a trench outside of New Casimir during the winter campaign. We mentioned that we were out of rations, and ten minutes later, a bunch of apples rained into the trench. Blew off their heads, huh? <laughs> yeah. Cap said, wait. But they were so hungry. Mm, that's so shit. We are about 20,000 miles from our last drop. People, then we can take a break and start thinking about spending some of this money. All yeah. right. <laughs> What's she thinking? That wasn't a bad idea, Wash. But you heard about my... About 50% of the human race is middlemen, and they don't take kindly to being eliminated. When you said that you didn't get a chance to tell the captain my idea, mm -hmm. what you actually meant was you told him my idea, he rejected it out of hand, and you didn't argue the point or even give it another thought. I gave, honey. I <laughs> And then came the lying to me about it, which for me is sort of the highlight of this little adventure. I didn't want to upset you. What did you think of it? Of what? My idea. Forget the fence, go straight to the source. Better prices, and we know the drugs get to the right people. Captain thinks it'll get back to someone. It just caused trouble. Who was I ever not asking what the captain thought? Well, I tend to agree with him. Tend to or have to? I love the fact that you two are old army buddies, but could you have an opinion of your own, please? Bye. I thought your plan was too risky. I thought. Then tell me. I am a large, semi-muscular man. Because what this marriage needs is one more shouting match. No, what this marriage needs is one less husband. Ooh. Okay. So, essentially he feels like she chooses Mal over him. That is a tough position because Mal is her boss and like her partner, essentially. And that's her husband. And I think that we saw that conflict sort of come to a boil a couple of episodes ago um, when Zoe wasn't doing well and Mal told Wash to get back to the command center or whatever. You are my beautiful sister. <laughs> I threw up on your bed. <laughs> 
<laughs> Definitely my sister. Didn't Denara express a wish for privacy? Oh, you gotta see what she's got. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, suddenly you want to see too, huh? Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Malcolm. Oh, it's like that. <laughs> We're all clear here, counselor. Okay, so that wasn't him. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I, I knew she took female clients. I just they look so glamorous together. They do look pretty glamorous together. I'll be in my bunk. I'm gonna assume that has no implications. <laughs> Lucrative as this stuff is, I'll be glad to see the last of it. Kind of makes us a target. What's River other... in here messing around? The ignition sequence is all turned about. I can't even. I can. I'll get it set. Would you wash? We gotta get moving. Here's a funny twist. No. Why not? Didn't want you taking off without me. In fact, didn't want you taking off at all. Thought I might take this run instead. Me and the captain. It's a dangerous mission, sir. I can't stand the thought of something happening that might cause you two to come back with another thrilling tale of bonding and adventure. What? I just can't take that right now. Okay. Um, okay, this jealousy is not serving anyone right now. So if you two have something that you need to it's work out. It's all right, up, sir. We've dealt with Bosch before. Shouldn't be a problem. And I wouldn't mind sitting this one out. Bye, hon. We promise not to stop for beers with the fellas. One cannot always be oneself in the company of men. Never, actually. Mm. So no show. Let's just enjoy ourselves. I feel like I'm wary of every companion or, or client, sorry, that Nara has simply for the fact that like why are they being introduced into this episode you know like what is their purpose so i don't know well, what happens if we get into a situation here hey i've been in a firefight before well i was in a fire <laughs> actually i was fired from the oh, man wash <laughs> i'll learn as i go So now I'm learning about carrying. This is probably not the right time to assert yourself. Can't believe you guys knocked over an Alliance hospital. Stuff legends are. So go. Ooh, 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 duck. Oh. 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 Nice to have Zoe here now, wouldn't it? Learning about scary. <laughs> Are you jealous, Jane? <laughs> uh, you don't have to like leer at her. <laughs> I'll be in my bunk. Jane, okay. grab your weapon. <laughs> They're late. They should have been back more an hour ago. I'll go with you. No offense, Shepard, but I sure as hell hope they don't need a preacher. Three sets of eyes are better than two. Might see something. <sighs> He's so mysterious. I really, really hope that before the end of this 14 episode run plus movie, we actually get like further insights into him. From the look of these wounds, I see a 54 R knowledge. sniper rifle. Like, why do you know that? You do a lot of shooting at the Abbey there, Shepard. Rabbits. No. Stew, sure. I don't believe it. We ain't gonna find him here. They're off planet already. Only one type of transport I know makes a mark like this. I know who's got him. Mm. Now what the hell is going on? I ain't rightly sure. But you've got some theories. Still working it through. I don't want you to spare me, Mal. If you think you know what's happening, then you tell me. So whatever Zoe would do in this instance is what I want to do. OK, but you're not Zoe. So I'm Zoe. Now, <laughs> what do I do? Probably not talk quite so much. <laughs> She's terse. I can be terse. 
Once in flight school, I was laconic. If I'm not gonna talk to Wash, then... wash. <laughs> that way we'll be able to, you know, keep our heads. You and Zoe have been in plenty of situations. Oh God, if I was Mal, Wash, like, nervously rambling would actually get under my skin. It would, like, peeve me. Mal, she's my wife! Huh? What? <laughs> I mean, I'm the one that she swore to love, honor, and obey. Listen, she swore to obey? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> but that's just my point! You, she obeys! Zoe and I have a history. She trusts me. What's that supposed to mean? Don't mean a thing, but you're making out like she blindly follows my every word. That ain't true. Sure it is! Not so. There's plenty of words so. of mine that she didn't obey. Name what? She married you! Oh. Damn. You would have never gotten the impression that Zoe just like does everything that he says or doesn't like have any pushback. Because sometimes she does. Like we hear her express her disapproval of his plans, right? But I guess I also understand from like Wash's perspective, it would probably be a little bit frustrating if you feel like you're coming second to another person. Wait a reasonable amount of time, but if you don't hear back, I want you to take serenity and get out of this quadrant. This don't play out right. There's no guarantee he won't come looking for the rest of you. Damn. Is that where you even killed? Oh! Wow! Uh, oh! Yeah, we just see this man torture another guy only moments ago. So... Shipboard romances complicate things. For who? For you? For everyone. Well, what about love? <laughs> and in situations such as ours, it tends to cause problems. It splits loyalties. Yeah. Know what I think? Here's the point. Why? Because it's happening. <laughs> this policy you got against shipboard relationships, that's just you projecting your own intimacy issues <sighs> on everyone else. <laughs> Could be a lot simpler than that. Could be. I just don't think you're good enough for Zoe. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's a bit of a low blow. You got a history, and I figure you've got to be asking yourself some fundamental questions as to the nature of that history. I mean, it's always seemed you know, very slept with my wife. Oh, matter of fact, you know that for sure, do you? We've been together for a long time before you came along, Wash, and she's a damn fine looking woman. No. Guys, we don't need to do this. We don't need to do this. How no, Mal, I wish you had slept with her. Then at least she'd be over it. Oh, you want me to sleep with her? Would that make you feel better? Am I? <laughs> Imagine it'd do wonders for her, too. Screw you! Get in line. Oh boy. <laughs> They're like torturing themselves while they get tortured. It's There's no point. Wash! Hmm? Wash! Listen, first thing when you get back. Listen to me! Oh, he's trying to keep his wits about him. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a face out. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm unarmed. Run. Run. It's five times what you paid us for the train job. Yes, you have had I don't think that he cares about that anymore. He's a vengeful motherfucker. They are perhaps damaged now. They're worth so much to you. Yes. And to me, they are worth more. I think this yeah. is not enough. But sufficient, perhaps, for one. Uh, you now have... Him. I'm sorry. You were going to ask me to choose, right? Do you want to finish? <laughs> I love Zoe. She's fantastic. No. Shh. Just keep walking. There's no way they're just like... Their plan is to just leave Mal. You should have some small refund. Ooh, ooh. Oh my 
my god, why? Why? No, we are in. Ugh, this show can like be brutal sometimes, man. You told the damn stories. <laughs> Saved you in the war. Nisk is gonna kill him. He's gonna make it last as long as possible. Days if he can. And that's why she chose Wash. Bastard's not gonna get days. I thought that he was gonna get upset about that because he wouldn't have lasted as long so it makes more sense for her to you know take him even though you know obviously there is the fact that I also I think that she is expressing her loyalty to him I thought that he was gonna like take it wrongly what is that oh it's his ear yeah <laughs> we're getting them back what are we gonna do clone him <laughs> well, it's a clean cut with the right equipment. I should be able to reattach it. Okay. Good to know. Good. Oh. Do you know the right I hate. I hate torture scenes. That is like my least favorite thing to watch. I just. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Now for you, I have a special machine. What is that? Very precious. This man, like, was he not held as a child? Like, what happened? What went horribly wrong? Ooh. You really think you can mount a two-man frontal assault on Niskus, Skyplex, and Lynn? Okay, you're not helping, Jane. Technically, it's a one-man, one-woman assault. A unisex. <laughs> what are they doing? Fixing to get himself killed. We're gonna go get the captain. Oh, good. <laughs> you know, there's a certain motto, a creed among folks like us. Leave no man behind. Suicide. <laughs> What's this? We're going with you. If it were any one of us, Captain wouldn't hesitate. It's true, and he hasn't. Time and time again. Don't is Jane going along with that? specific things to say about killing? Quite specific. It is, however, <laughs> somewhat fuzzier on the subject of kneecaps. If you're looking for me to talk you out of it. <laughs> ah! What? Oh, shit. He is coming. Yep. He's dead. He's not. He's not. I refuse to even be baited by that. You died, Mr. Reynolds. Oh, so he should like die. Thing to do. But they brought him back? When you die, I can't hurt you anymore, and I want two days at least. Mm, if you knew it was best for you, you probably should have just left him dead. We'll be at their front door in less than a minute. I'm right behind you, baby. I'm glad that the conflict between them didn't actually last very long. Okay, people. If it moves, shoot it. Unless it's the captain. Unless it's the captain. <laughs> You make sure to say that. <laughs> if you got guests, I can come back later. Oh! Ooh! Damn. Shepard Brooks just continues to surprise me. Like, where did this man come from? Explain yourself, sir. Victor, what is this? Oh. Oh. You want to meet the real me now? When you do it to yourself, my guy, you could have just let them be. You could have even taken the payment, but no. We had to torture him and we had to bring him back from the dead 
because we had to torture him some more. Can't look, can't look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Damn, Ripper. <laughs> no power in the verse can stop me. <laughs> What? There is. She has a lot of sides to her. I wonder how much an episode of this would cost to shoot because I feel like they're constantly, you know, introducing new sets and destroying new sets, you know, and they will have a lot of really great, like, at least great for the time, special effects. No, it's not. Oh. It seems like they had a, a decent budget. So if that is true, I, I wonder, I really wonder why it got canceled. Maybe it's, it was just like a viewership issue. You sure this thing's gonna stay on? Dermal Mender creates an excellent tissue bond. It should be fine. Just don't, don't fiddle with it. I hear you all took up arms in that little piece of action back there. How you faring with that, Doctor? I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I never, never shot anyone before. I was there, son. I'm fair sure you haven't shot anyone yet. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Man, these. People are always just narrowly escaping death. Is she is she wary of her now after what she said? That nothing can stop her or whatever? Hmm. Like is she afraid of her now? That's kind of the vibe I was getting. Which is a bummer considering how the episode opened. Did you tell her? Tell her what? Your husband has demanded that we sleep together. Really? <laughs> What? Now, come on. Easy. <laughs> I know it's a difficult mission, but you and I have to get it on. They are such friends. Like, there is no romantic Take me, sir. energy. Take me hard. Well, something about that is just downright unsettling. <laughs> We'll be in our bunk. <laughs> oh, hey, free soup. <laughs> yeah, I really thought that we were going to see that guy, the antagonist. I, I did not catch his name. I thought that we were going to see him again since we saw him the first time. But I'm not going to lie, I also did sort of forget about his character up until they showed the um, flashback. So I'm happy that I was right that, you know, the situation wasn't completely resolved and we did meet face to face with him again, but uh, could have done without some of those torture scenes. I really do not love seeing people get tortured. I don't love seeing people's ears getting get sliced off. It's not my favorite thing to watch. Um, I, you know, when River was like, there is nothing that can stop me or whatever the hell she said, like, I honestly didn't take it as seriously as Kaylee took it, but I'm I'm getting the sense that maybe I should have because I was just like, oh, that's a funny little thing River is saying, but no, like, I mean, obviously she has... I mean, obviously there are so many things to her, so many things that I think that we haven't yet discovered. There's, as they, as they were talking, as uh, Simon and Shepard Brooke were talking in the beginning of the episode, like there is a purpose for the Alliance, like wanting her and tracking her down. And it doesn't have to do, I don't think, with like purely being sadistic. Like why, why do that? Like that's not, a good enough motive for me so like there is something that she could have done for them to help them and I guess the question at this point is just like what what so I don't know if I'm supposed to deduce from that scene that she like actually just kind of has like unlimited abilities because yeah she closed her friggin eyes and then shot three guys dead like it was nothing 
So maybe they wanted to use her like as a weapon or something like that. I have no idea. I don't understand though why they would fuck with her amygdala like we learned in the last episode or the episode before that. Because like why would they want her to feel all of those emotions, you know? I really don't know, but it is really fascinating and I feel like we're getting like further and further into the core of like what that mystery is and now it looks like um her like keely has a little bit of like a wariness towards her after seeing that which uh, i was so happy at the beginning of the episode seeing like them actually you know act like friends and river actually seemingly be in a decent mood and so it is a bummer to have the episode end on that note but it is it does have a lot of like really implications i think for future episodes and my god how many episodes we have left 11 12 13 14 so we have four episodes left of the show and then the movie i truly do not know what to expect um in the next couple of episodes because uh, again, I don't even know if we like leave off on like a cliffhanger or something like that and like elements of the show don't get resolved. But I also assume that because they commissioned a movie, that the movie is going to answer a bunch of the questions that maybe they weren't able to answer in the show. I just hope that it doesn't feel like rest or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this show. So I... It's actually, it's like, you know, that's the thing about watching a short series is that you like get into it and then like it's over. So it's, it's weird to think that there are only a couple or a few, I should say, um, episodes left, but I'm really excited to see where the season continues to go. Yeah, it's been a really great journey so far and I hope you guys continue watching them with me next week when we pick it up with more Firefly as always, thank you guys so much for watching this with me today. I hope you guys take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.